Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we are going to learn what an earthquake is and why it is caused. Did you know that the floor we walk on lies over gigantic rocky plates that look like a jigsaw puzzle and are called tectonic plates? These plates float over magma, an extremely hot material that is found in liquid or viscous form because of its tremendously hot temperature. These plates have great cracks separating them, called plate boundaries, and this is where all seismic movements or earthquakes originate from. And depending on the movement that they make, they can produce different effects. When the tectonic plates shift in opposite directions, they are called divergent plate boundaries, and the magma rises towards the surface, cools down and dries, then a new floor is formed, like these islands you can see here. When the tectonic plates bump into each other, they are called convergent plate boundaries, and form a collision area where new mountains or mountain ranges like the Himalayas or Alps are formed. They can also trigger volcanoes and earthquakes. When tectonic plates slide sideways or along the plate boundary, they are called transform plate boundaries and they are responsible for seismic movements. When they rub against each other, they rotate and create friction that in some cases can result in catastrophic earthquakes. Earthquakes can be more or less severe. The weakest earthquakes can hardly be felt, but unfortunately, some of them are very violent and cause great disasters, destroying buildings, roads, schools, Entire cities have been destroyed after some earthquakes. In an earthquake, we can differentiate two parts. The hypercenter, which is the point in the earth where the earthquake originates from, and the epicenter being the point on the earth's surface, vertically above the hypercenter. This point is where the earthquake is most intense and the greatest damage is caused. We also call earthquakes seismes, and the people who study these are called seismologists. On Earth, there are more than 2,000 observatories that study and follow earthquakes up close. Actually, each year, there are thousands and thousands of earthquakes being registered, but the great majority are so small, we can hardly feel them. The seismograph, or seismometer, is the instrument used to measure the earthquake's intensity. Invented in 1842 by the Scottish scientist James David Forbes, it measures the seismic waves that earthquakes cause. Over time, these instruments have been perfected to the point that some can measure earth tremors as small as one that Daniela can cause by jumping. Look, look! Funny, huh? The geosphere is the most solid part of our planet. Yes, it includes the Earth's surface and everything that lies beneath it to the very centre of the Earth. It is extremely important because it is here where life develops. A part of the geosphere is under the oceans, forming the wonderful seabed. And the other part rises to the surface, forming the continents and islands. But there is much more to the geosphere that meets the eye. And in the depths of our planet, many interesting things take place. Did you know that if we were to drill a hole to the very centre of the Earth, we would have to dig more than 6,000 kilometres deep? It's incredible! 
It would be immense. <gasps> the geosphere is made up of three concentric layers called the crust, the mantle, and the core. Let's get to know them. The crust is the most shallow and thinnest layer of the geosphere. It is like the skin of our planet. Many things live on it. Even animals that live underground, like these earthworms. Remember that the sea floor is also part of the crust. There is a very special layer called the lithosphere, which contains the crust and the upper mantle. Lithosphere means stone sphere, as well as being very hard and rigid. The lithosphere is also fractured, as if it were broken into pieces. The famous tectonic plates are part of the lithosphere. By the way, did you know that these plates move? Yes, yes. They float on a semi-liquid surface and sometimes collide with each other or collapse. When this happens, it causes earthquakes tsunamis and even impressive mountains like these can appear. But of course, mountains don't form overnight. This happens very slowly and over thousands of years. The mantle is the middle layer of the geosphere and is located below the crust. It is the thickest layer, estimated to be about 3,000 kilometers long. Temperatures in the mantle are so high that the rocks and materials that form it are semi-molten like cheese. Can you imagine how hot it is? When the melton rocks from the mantle seep between the tectonic plates and come to the surface of the earth, volcanoes erupt. That incandescent liquid you can see coming out the mouth of this volcano is molten rock, magma. Isn't it amazing to see what's going on in the layers of the earth? Just wait and you'll see. The innermost layer of the Earth is the core. It is made of iron and other metals like nickel and silicon. And it is very, very hot, with a temperature of 6,000 degrees Celsius. It's more or less the same temperature of the sun. Could you imagine anything like it? A small sun inside the Earth. I can't believe it. It's amazing. <gasps> Wow. As you can see, underneath our feet, in the geosphere, super interesting things are happening. It's so cool to learn new things. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video.